This is Nathan with Bad Fellows Motorsports out of Memphis, Tennessee. Today we are working on Allison 1000 and a 2002 Chevy 2500 HD Duramax. Today what we are working on is a common problem I've heard with these. I've had the truck about two months just doing regular maintenance on it and doing the internal filter as soon as I got it on put in the gear tester out clunk well it was about a second and a half as soon as I put it in drive us and the clunk came out of nowhere well I went drive it and it felt like it was stuck in a higher gear well I'll put a code reader on it and just throw in transmission code P0872 which is uh stuck uh Solenoid is what they're saying, low circuit and circuit C, so that relates to uh, solenoid E. And well, on solenoid E, you have an E shift valve above the valve body here. I uh, got the fluid already drained, there's a couple bolts here I'm gonna take out and I'll show you what we have. So, what we're gonna do next here, I like to go ahead and unplug all my sensors right here. You got one, two, well, one, two, three, four, and five. And unplug it from your uh, power valve as well, right there. And then I'll show you here in just a minute. You take a flat head, pull those clips down, and we'll swing the harness up out the way over there. Make sure you don't put any kinks or nothing in it and pull a wire or nothing like that to give you more of a headache than you already have. I'll show you how to do that. At least it went in the pan. But you always want to put these clips back in after you move the wiring harness so the solenoid don't fall out while you're pulling the valve by. Alright, now that you got your all your sensors unplugged. Oh, let me see about that. Let's wire it down. These fucking clips. One more clip. Got all the wires undone. Got one more clip to do for the wiring harness. I'm not sure. Just a little flat head in there. Pull it out a little bit. Fills out. Pull this out the way. Sure, this is where you don't want to mess a wire up or nothing. Sure to clean all this up before you reinstall it. Go ahead and put our clips back in as well right here to hold your solenoid down. So when you're taking the valve body out, they don't fall. Okay, got all the clips out that are necessary to drop the valve body. And then take out that one, those, well, I have to take out every bolt. I'll take a better video once it's out. Finally got the valve body out. Bolts that you'll need to take out only just to get the valve body out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And on that one, you got to take the two short ones out to remove the plate right there to get to that one. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 
and that's all of them 17 bolts to get the valve body out then now we're going to go and take the rest out to separate our plate the separator plate all right now we're separating the valve body from here we had a vice Get off the dowel pins. There we go. Got her separated. Ka chow. All right, stop it. Okay, so we got our clip out already for the valve right here. Now we're trying to get the piston out. Or the actual valve, whatever you want to call it. Like, you don't have the magnet to pull it with, so I'm going to leave it. Yeah. You don't want to scar up the outside of the valve that's going to touch the bolt. So what we're going to do? Find a nice open spot. And push on the inner part of the piston. You don't want to scar nothing. Up. There we go. Got her to move a little. Kinda gotta work it. Don't wanna mess it up. I'm working up. She's almost out. She's almost out. Alright, I'll then grab a hold of her. Oh, a little bit. There she is. Whew. Inspect it. Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> I'll just clean the I kept that board right there. Actually the whole thing I might take and clean all of them. Take one out at a time and clean every single one. Put it back together. See what happens. Alright, you see a little piece of trash right here. A little piece of trash. I could have been causing it. You never know. A little fucking stupid shit. Alright, so last part, the audio was kind of messed up on it. But I got the valve out. Wait. I did it. Get you a little scribe like this. Be very careful. You don't want to score up the outside, but I was pushing from right there. From right there on it? And pushed it out of the board. That's all you gotta do, just work it out until you get it out. Simple, you got the, put the piston in, the spring, then the block off plate, and the retainer. Now I'm just going to clean all this up really good. I'll probably, one by one, take each one out and do the same to it. It's pretty simple. Might as well while I'm here.